So far, you have learned how to use the separation of variable method in order to solve this PD, and you success to obtain the general PD solution in this format. In this solution, you have six unknown which are highlighted in the red color. To solve this unknown, we need the initial condition or the boundary condition, or the combination of the initial condition and boundary condition in order to find the particular PDE solution. In most of the time, we are given these three types of conditions in order to solve the particular solution. In this problem, you have a root with the length equal to L. In this case, we draw the root here and draw the x-axis in this direction. Therefore, at this point, you have x equal to 0 and at the right end here, you have x equal to L. This root is modeled by the 1D heat equation here, which is a parabolic PD. And you want to find the temperature solution, which is the U, at various location x with respect to time. In this question, you need to set up the boundary value problem for the temperature Uxt here when the left and is held at zero temperature. So this is your left end, which is at x equal to zero. So the temperature u at the x equal to zero here for all the time will be equal to zero. So this is your first boundary condition. There is insulation on the right end, which is over here at x equal to L. When there is insulation, then there is no heat transfer in this region. In this situation, the temperature gradient, which is the change of the temperature with respect to the x dimension, will be equal to 0. Since the insulation is located at x equal to L, therefore you should write this information here. We can simplify the notation here into ux which is the first derivative of u with respect to x in the bracket of l where the x is equal to l at any time will be equal to 0. Lastly, it was told that the initial temperature is fx. With that, we know that the temperature distribution u for all the x location here at time equal to 0 will be equal to fx. So this is your initial condition. With that, you success to obtain these three boundary condition and initial condition. When you have the condition on the temperature only at these two locations, one is at the end of the bar, another is along the Root. In specific, is called the Dusslet condition. If you have the condition on the first derivative component, then we call this as the Newman condition. And this is applied at the right end here. You do not need to memorize the name for the condition here. Most importantly, you can visualize the problem from the statement here and form these three equations for the initial condition and boundary condition. Let's try with more example here. In this case, you have a string with the length equal to L and is fixed at both ends here. This problem can be modeled by the 1D wave equation here and this is hyperbolic PD. And you are going to find the displacement U with respect to the x location here from 0 to L and with respect to time. So you have the boundary condition here where the displacement at x equal to 0 for any time will be equal to 0. Since your displacement u here is equal to 0 at these two points. Therefore, over here, you have the displacement at L for any time equal to 0. The initial displacement 
is given by x multiplied with L minus x. For example, substitute the x equal to 0 inside. 0 multiplied with L minus 0, you obtain 0 at this point. Substitute x equal to L, then you obtain 0 as well, which is this point. Substitute L over 2 inside here, so you have L over 2 multiplied with L minus L over 2, you obtain L over 2. Therefore, you obtain at x equal to L over 2, which is half of the root. Then the displacement here will be equal to L squared over 4. You can substitute various x from 0 to L into this formula. Then you should be able to obtain the initial displacement at all the x locations here similar to the shape here. Therefore, we obtain the initial displacement at all the location x for time equal to 0, which is the initial condition, will be equal to this formula, x multiplied with L minus x. Besides that, it was told that the string is released from red. Therefore, the initial velocity for all the points here which is the first derivative of displacement with respect to time at all the x locations at time equal to 0 will be equal to 0. So the initial condition for the initial velocity is equal to 0. Therefore, you should be able to obtain two boundary conditions in the end here and two initial conditions at time equal to 0. So you can also write this notation into this format. They are the same. If you have the displacement and the first derivative of the displacement in the same region, this is known as the Cauchy condition. Make sure you learn how to form the boundary and initial condition here based on the statement. In this example, we have a rectangular plate and the temperature distribution on this plate is described by the 2D Laplace equation here. This is also known as elliptic PDE, where you want to find the temperature U at the X and Y location. This is S axis, where the boundary is from 0 to 4. And then you have the Y axis here, and the boundary is from 0 to 2, which is here. The left end and the bottom of the plate are insulated. Left end here at x equal to 0 is insulated. Therefore, the heat flux cannot pass through this plate in the x direction. So, with that, you obtain the temperature gradient in the x direction will be equal to 0. So since we know that this is at x equal to 0, so you can put this information inside. Bottom plate here at the y equal to 0 is insulated as well. Therefore, there is no heat transfer in the y direction. So the temperature gradient, which is the change of the temperature with respect to the y direction, will be equal to 0. So this line is at y equal to 0. So these two are the boundary conditions at these two regions. You have zero temperature at the top of the plate, which is over here. Therefore, the temperature at all the x location at y equal to 2 here will be equal to 0. So at the top here, the temperature will be remain at 0 degrees Celsius. Lastly, the right end of the plate is maintained at temperature equal to Fy function. Right end is over here, which is equal to x equal to 4. Therefore, the temperature at x equal to 4 for all the y location here will be equal to the f in the y function. So what does this mean? Let us have this function equal to y, for example. Let's say this is the right end where you have the y equal to 0 to y equal to 2 here. So this 
So you can substitute y equal to 0 inside here. So you obtain the temperature equal to 0 here. Substitute y equal to 2 inside, you obtain the temperature equal to 2. Therefore, you can see that this y function means that the temperature will increase in linear pattern over the y axis. In this case, the temperature at the right end is not a constant, but it is in a function as y. With that, you should be able to obtain these four boundary conditions for this plate based on the statement.